I have to start with you and I have to say welcome. It, Thank you, it's, Charles. It's, it's been coming for a while. Huh? <laughs> so if I remember correctly, 2019 you were going to come. Am I correct? Yeah, I think, uh, let me think about it. No, I think 2020 was I, the first I, I was going to come one. in 19 yeah. and then Bob was going to join me in 20. Yeah, 20, 20. I, I had a, COVID uh, was the big, shut everything down and, yeah. and that canceled it. And then yeah. in 21, it got me again with the travel. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, 20 you were going to come and then you, you couldn't come. And then in 21, you were shut down at the airport. Yeah, at the airport, yeah. checking so it's, in. It's great to have you here. Thank I'm you glad very much. You made it. Appreciate and, uh, it. I know you're going to have fun. Yeah. Mike, it's good to have you back. You were here last August. Yeah. And how many times have you been now? I think this is my fifth, I think. Fifth Wonderful. time. All yeah. of winter shook. Always good to see you. Yeah. And uh, we're <laughs> looking was, forward to it. Our first time was uh, 14 years ago, my son Tom's 16th birthday. So yeah. 14 years uh, since you and I hunted together. We've seen each other a lot since then and been together yeah. for dinner, but it's the first time yeah. we've hunted again since. It's, uh, Buta says you think I still had hair, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> But a lot has changed. <laughs> changed. No, so I'm looking forward to it, and, and uh, it's a privilege to see you again. And oh. thanks, thanks for keeping coming back. Yes, just something to say. Welcome. Here we go. Thank you. It's a juice. We're not going to have champagne yeah. oh, <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> there you go. Not yet. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. 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 Thanks for having us. Have fun. Right. Enjoy have yourselves fun. and make oh, yeah. yourselves at home, huh? Okay, so this is a, a 300 Win Mac, it's a Tika rifle with a Zeiscope on it, a 3 to 12 to 15 front. Mm -hmm. You will see it reloaded from underneath in the magazine, so yep. it's not going to reload from the top. Yep. And then the ammo we're going to use here is a, it's hand reloaded with 100 SST points, 180 grain. Okay. So, and then we can see if it's shooting straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little high and a little loud. I you think you can shoot another one. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. I don't need to shoot off the bench, I don't think. It, okay. I was going to practice shooting off yes. sticks is better. We're going to do just in front, put the sticks on. Okay. And then you can decide on which. Left. So, um, Bob, the plan is we're gonna walk through here, through this bushes. It make also like a dry river bed, creek bed there in front. Then we're gonna go and have a look there, what we saw, hopefully some impala, hopefully some kudu. All right. Well, you I'm never know. Looking forward to it. Yes. So then we're gonna go. All right. Let's do it.
Casey, the other one. The one to the left. Yeah. That's kind of cool, the car, truck. Thank you. And a bit of a OBE. Yeah. That is a traditional South African sherry. Something to warm you in. Excellent, thank you. And orange juice for you, sir. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy your morning? This Absolutely. was very nice. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful orange day. Orange juice for you. Oh, and sorry. And uh, a bit for you. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go have a walk again into the wind and hopefully we find now something. Beautiful yeah, animal. Beautiful animal. You know the springbok has the, the long hair yeah. at the back, the prong, you call it. Look at this beautiful springbok. Yeah, very nice. It's a beautiful animal. Thank you, it was very enjoyable. Congratulations, sir. 
Thank and you. a beautiful springbok. Thank beautiful you. shooting. We have left the car about two, three miles away and got on foot, walking up to this beautiful springbok. It's a rare thing to see on video. It's like the prong, the white hair with the standing straight up now. They call it like in mating season, it's like to the females must come and see that the biggest prong. Okay. The young ones also love to play and jump with the prong open. And it's really nice to see it standing up on a beautiful shot. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob, on a beautiful Thank spring. Thank you so much. It was very enjoyable. I appreciate uh, you taking us into that. And uh, like I said, it was a lot of fun. We had to wait a little bit for for him to come back out, but um, you know, he gave us a good broadside shot there for a second. And while we were walking in, we also saw two kudo bulls fighting, which was also a very awesome sight. Okay, Bob, there's your spring buck. It's already tagged. Of course, the recovery team is come and load it and gonna skin it and everything. In South Africa, in Africa, we have a tradition, the first African animal that you shoot. You're gonna bet a uh, little bit of blood, blood in it. your face. Yeah. So let's do that. There you go. There. Congratulations. Thank you very much. First African animal. So the wind, I think they yeah. smell us. Yeah, yeah. So it's better to leave them and go back okay. to the car. Good evening. Good evening. I hope you guys had a great day. We did. All right, fantastic. So, um, as I said, I'll be walking through everything so that you know what you're eating. Like now we have our kebabs. I'm sure you call them kebabs, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So the one which is at the bottom, it's ostrich. ostrich. Then the other one which is on top is impala. So you got, you're going to taste ostrich and impala. Nice. Kebabs. That is your starter dessert. Uh, starter is, is that uh, you're gonna you're gonna have that as a starter. Then the main you're gonna have a in inland inside fillet. Yep. Oh, nice. Wellington. Oh. With that we have potato mash and some vegetables. Nice. Then dessert we're gonna do a South African traditional mouthful pudding. With the homemade custard. Have you had that, man? Yes, I have. Yeah, very good. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure you had one, but that one is was might, must this? be must be better than <laughs> the one we had. Before. Can we can we start with that tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can do that as well. You want to. No, no, no. Right. So if you guys read, please enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, my friend. Front. 
So it's early morning, it's about quarter past six. We're gonna go out. It's Whichever minus side, one this morning. We're scared for the sun. It's a little bit colder. But um, we're gonna go look for buffalo this morning. Um, we're gonna go a long way from here to go up a little hill, and, and they've been seeing quite a lot of buffalo tracks on that side. So we're gonna see what we see there. Go look at the waters, go and find some tracks, and see what we find. And then Elaine's going to find it at the water hole right here at camp. Exactly. Folks. Yeah. <laughs> so then she'll call us. <laughs> right. We came out early this morning and we wanted to come up this little hill. It's actually the only high place on this property. And we, we, we found some buffalo coming up. Uh, lots of game around here. We saw some nice crew bulls. We saw a big sable. I don't know if you guys saw at the back. You saw your first giraffes. Yeah, it's just at the back here. But so we're going to head down and we're going to. There's, there's some thick brushes you guys can see over here. And there's some big water pans here. We drove past the one. We're going to see if we can find some fresh tracks there. Mm -hmm. And then go from there and keep cutting the lines to see if we find some, some fresh tracks. So now we have to get down. Sounds like a plan. Be safe. Right. <laughs> okay. So uh, we just climbed down from the hill and we're out checking out some water holes here and we just circled this entire water hole, saw some nice tracks but nothing really fresh so I'm going to spend the rest of the morning uh, checking out the water holes to see if we can pick up a track and go get find ourselves a buffalo. Some, some more fresh tracks here, but it's a big group. We moved this way, and, and we can see this. Especially one track is, is quite large, so um, the wind is completely wrong. We can't take the tracks from this side, so we're going to drive around. There's a road on that side, and see if they may be crossed, and then we'll take it from there. They're feeding this way, they're going that direction. But I don't want to go on foot because the problem is the wind was a few minutes ago it was going constantly that way now it's going constantly this way. The problem is with the with the rifle it's one thing you can take a hundred yard shot and you can shoot through some brush and whatever so I don't want to jump or spook them on foot because once that happens it becomes a whole different ball game. So I'll rather keep driving we're going to keep cutting the lines and see where they are and then we, if we can see them from the vehicle they're not too scared. So then we can always back off and, and go out and make another plan or whatever. Okay. Um, Bob and Mike had split up this afternoon. We had gone back to the lodge for a quick lunch. And after the lunch, of while the lunch we discussed, they were after buffalo. <laughs> and they haven't found good tracks this morning. So then we decided to split up. Bob 
is going to go on his own this afternoon and Mike is on his own still searching for buffalo tracks so we are after some planes game hopefully zebra games back anything that is looking good yeah anything that looks good We saw some zebra there in front. It's about 600 yards, over 600 yards from us. The wind is blowing nice in our favor, so we're gonna make a plan. And hopefully we are lucky. Let's give it a go. Close about 100 yards from the zebra. Even less, yeah. But got busted by impala and waterbuck. And it spooked the zebra, and we saw them once in the open, but they haven't give us a chance. So, and then they take off. And while we were stalking the zebra, we would see a kudu far away from us, <coughs> and we haven't seen it on how big it is because his body was looking like a good size kudu mm -hmm. so we can uh, go closer hopefully we can come close with because there's also giraffe with the kudu mm -hmm. and uh, the the zebra that we had they were inside 100 yards and i had the the scope on one but he was completely you know standing away with just his head turned around looking at us and all three of them were looking at us so and and then uh 
didn't give me a shot and they ran off. So we had some good stalks, but it doesn't want to work. Well, we're headed back into camp after another great adventurous day. Saw a lot of different kinds of animals and uh, you know, got close to having an opportunity on several. And we're looking forward to a, a great dinner tonight and starting and doing it all over again tomorrow. So that's it. There you go. Thank you. And Tonight you are going to have a Jägermeister oh, just to okay. eat you up. I oh, yeah, hope I you have had that before. Did, did Mikey have oh, one? Yeah, yeah oh, and I tried to fix him now after <laughs> of all health all issues. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like cough medicine. There so you go. You will be the heal of all sicknesses. <laughs> no, I can use this. Yeah. Cheers on a great Good day. day. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. What Good. do you think? Good. Good. Yeah, it's not that bad. So day three here at Kamakara, uh, another cool morning. It's uh, about 35 degrees, about five degrees warmer than yesterday. Uh, we just spotted some more buffalo tracks out here by the water. The uh, trackers are putting together a plan with Strauss. We're gonna split up today. I'm gonna go follow the buffalo tracks and see if I can uh, arrow a buffalo. And Bob is gonna go with Buta and uh, go after yeah, the plane. see game. if we get some planes game. See if we can find some of the things that we saw yesterday and, uh, and get a shot on them. We have seen a chemist park there in front, we spotted them about 500 yards and a lone one, so we're gonna go and have a look at it all and hopefully we are lucky. Let's go!
Reload, reload. Wait, wait, wait. You can come. Yeah. Wow, oh, it's a beautiful animal. Beautiful animal. Look at this beautiful oryx. Games back. Look at this nice horns, nice old, old bull. Looks really good. That was a good, good stock to start the day. You know, we did a lot of stocks yesterday and yes. we weren't successful. And, you know, first time this morning, we were able to be successful. Bob, this morning we spotted this game spark from that car. And we have to take a stalk after it. And the games back have keep, uh, give us a great opportunity on him. And uh, we were able to take just the one shot and he went about, uh, as Buta said, you know, maybe 20 or 30 meters. And, you know, so it was a, it was a great experience and really enjoyed the morning. Bob, we just have finished the beautiful game spark this morning. Now you, we're gonna have a walk in this creek bed up to a water point and hopefully we saw something and find something beautiful. Yeah, look forward to it. Enjoy it. Yeah, look forward to it. Enjoyable morning. Um, that is a white rhino. We have about 20 plus minus 20, 25 here. Um, there's some reaction units and security units and anti-poaching units that are looking after them for the poaching of the rhinos. So we are glad to see still some rhino alive in the nature. It is quite expensive to look after the rhino and keep them safe. And that's why we <coughs> must get some hunters from America to come and hunt. And there's a lot of that money that go to the Rhino Foundation to look after the next generations of the rhinos in the future. I think we're going to get to a truck and let we drove drive around, around and come, come up back. with this. Yep.
All right, well, we just finished a really interesting stock. We saw a number of uh, kudu bulls, and uh, we were trying to see if we could get around in some very, very thick cover to get a shot at them. And as we were stalking, we saw a white rhino at probably about 30 yards. And we kind of came around, saw, you know, a den maybe of a porcupine, uh, a few other things. So it was a very interesting stock. And we saw a lot of other animals too, some um, springbuck and impala. Yeah. So I, I heard you saw the the uh, Cape Buffalo. Oh, we, we saw. More than, we more than saw it. <laughs> <laughs> we got about as close as we are. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome picture then, huh? Awesome video. No. No. Well, because he there, he was in the bush. You couldn't see him. Oh. oh. You got a bit of Amarula game tonight. Yes. Cheers. Of course, we are out on the beach. Springbok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Once again, um, that hill that we climbed to look for buffalo the right. first uh, day, we were on the back side of that, and that's where we saw the one that we told you guys about. And we drove around it and we spooked some, I think, four eland, and they started running around, and uh, five zebras got in with them, and they just they all ran for a few miles or more. You know, we saw them kind of crossing, and you know, because that's what we were trying to get, and uh, they just kept running and running. So we drove around trying to find see with you know where they might have stopped but uh, we never saw them and then we saw the uh, copper spring buck you know while we were still hunting right. or you know whatever and you know kind of you know still we had another hour of, of, yeah. of they said they heard your right. shot right before we got yeah. back here yeah, it's so. probably not that far This is our starter for today, which is uh, lamp tails. And I'm sure you're pretty sure about this. It's uh, something which is usual in, in South Africa here. We, we love it. We love it. It's nice starter. So we're going to do that as a starter for tonight. Lamp tails. I'm here to present your starter. Today we're going to have uh, lamp tails. Ah. ah, yes, wonderful. Yes, yes. And then, your uh, plate? Yes, your plate. Okay. Some then you may tell me if you're fine. That's please. good for now. Okay. So is this the whole tail, each one? Yeah, Thank you, yes, Thank you. Huh? Thank you, the Lane. Top the top part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. All right. Good. Here we go. Now we're going to go for our main. Uh, as I said, we're gonna have some kind of domestic, which is lamp chops. Yo. Uh -huh. That is oh, also accompanied with some some of that springbuck, mm. which you shot. We have nice springbuck. Thank you both. Springbuck cat the dog. Yeah. <laughs> springbuck, <laughs> okay. springbuck, springbuck kebabs with uh, potato salad, and we have a roastery cook. That is kind of bread which we make here in South Africa. Yeah. This is the springbok? Yes, yes. Okay, well, I have to have some of that. Yeah, and, and this is the, um, lamb. the lamb chop? Yeah. Oh, there's the tongs here, good. I don't have to use my fingers. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I have two? Yeah, yes. This morning, um, 
we were yeah, early out. Drove around and tried to find some zebra or zebra tracks, but haven't seen something. So now we're gonna walk off closer to two water points and hopefully see some zebra kudu impala. Well, we just finished a really good stock um, what we thought was a black springbok it was seen in a clump of woods it was very dark and uh, you know we put a good stock on it we got within I think about 50 or 60 yards or so of it and Jeez. and there were ended up being two of them and uh, you know they kind of slowly walked off but when they got in the Sun you know we could see that they were uh, both uh, uh, copper spring bucks and so you know we passed on that since we got one of those yesterday but it was a really awesome stock hello how was your morning it was great wonderful As always the right stuff you have to take some clothes off here. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a little like cough medicine. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. I hope everyone slept well. Uh, I'm going to walk you through for what we have for our breakfast today. We're going to have some eggs benedict on toast. So basically it's uh, uh, toast with some poached eggs with the volunteer sauce. With that we have some bacon, ham and avocado. So if you guys Ready? You can please dip in. There's also some nice. Thanks, Jody. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy your breakfast. How can we not? Um, Bob, that morning we went early out for look for zebra and kudu, and we found a good kudu, beautiful kudu that you shot, beautiful shot that you take on it. Now we're gonna take a walk between this bushes and trees and the wind is blowing a little bit to see if we can locate some zebra and hopefully get one. Yeah, I look forward to it. The, the stock this morning was you know very fun. It wasn't a, a long distance but it took quite some time to you know get up close and we were fortunate that they were not aware of us till you know right at the very end we were getting ready to take a shot and uh, you know both the sun and the wind were in our favor and uh, we were able to make a good shot and uh, and recover the the kudu. It went about 100 yards, so very very happy with that one. It's a very nice animal.
spot they were good on the side <coughs> that spook off and uh, spook off and everything were running. Yeah, you can hear the zebra running away. Yes. Yeah, that one must have been very just, recent too. Yeah. Just before the street. Oh. And it's after that the loops. But they also Okay. Bob, this so we have a good day. I start this morning with a kudu and this afternoon in a cold wind do we were after some zebra. I have some have seen I've seen them somewhere, some places and we had went and spook us twice and but the light is going down now so we must go back to the truck. Yeah well it was a good day. I said the kudu this morning. And then uh, we saw the zebra actually three separate times and put, a, I think, a good stock on them. A few times we probably walked close to four miles while we were doing it, but it was a really uh, fulfilling and exciting day. Tonight we are drinking a springbok, eh? That's a combination of peppermint liqueur and amarula. Okay. So where would you like me to put this? Uh, you can put it on, on the tray. This is for you, sir. And Mandy Thank myself you. is going to drink with you tonight oh, because it's your last evening last here at Kamahara. All right. Cheers. 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 Mandy. Cheers. Cheers from that one. Cheers. Cheers, And on a wonderful yeah. wonderful week here with yes. us. Yes, it was very nice. Yeah. Cheers. Really, thank yes. you. Cheers. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. How, How are, are you guys doing? Excellent. Excellent. That's excellent. Uh, this is our last dinner with you guys. Uh, congratulations for the animals you managed to harvest. I'm going to walk you through for what we're having for our dinner today. This is starter. We're having trio risotto for the starter. So the trio risotto we have the one with the bacon and the Russian. Then the other one is mushroom. And the other one is beetroot and blue cheese. Mm. So that's the trio risotto for starter. Then dinner, we're gonna do bride. The meat which you have harvested for us, we're gonna do kudu fillet and Gamesburg fillet as well. Oh, mm. sure. With that, we're gonna serve it with potato roast, baby spinach, and some mushroom with pepper sauce. Excellent. And dessert, we're gonna have our famous chocolate bonbon with, uh, <laughs> with uh, amarula custard. So if you guys are ready, you can dig in. Thank, thank you. Indeed. All right. Right. Enjoy. Before you Excellent. go, though, I'm so Bob has some words to say, but we want to thank you for uh, the stay. This is my fourth uh, time with Vintershook, and I always come back because not just the great hunting, but the great food, the great lodging, and, and the great people. And you know, over the years, we become friends. I mean, Strauss and I have known each other for 15 or 20 years now. And, I know I'm a client and you're the PH, but I think we're friends first. And I think we met some new friends this week as well. Definitely. Um, as, as great as all my other trips have been, I didn't think you'd surpass it, but uh, Buta, your delayed for hospitality has 
just been outstanding, and, and the food, ah, I want to bring you home with me. Well, well, food, the chef has been fantastic, so thank you. we want to thank you, and uh, you know, here's to, you know, next time we come over and see you folks again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Bob, we are looking forward to seeing you next time. I would just like to say, you know, Eileen and, and Mondi, who's not here right now, you know, come, 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 get in so we can see you. It's good to be you. It's good. And Precious too. Where's Precious? You know, you're, Where's you're, Precious? You're, 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 you're She's right there. She, she, She's not there. Uh, <laughs> She's here. Really come, come Precious. Where is she? She's here? She must come. Um, come, come Precious. Precious! Precious. There, she there she is. There she is. There we go. All right. They have all taken very good care of us, you know, these last four or five days, and we really appreciate uh, all the really, you know, hard work you've done and how friendly you've been to us and how you've really made us feel like home. You. And you know, thank you to Strauss and, and Buta for all of the fun that we've had so far Thanks, on this trip. Thank you. More to come. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's yeah. thank Martin as well. Barn the yeah. yeah. done a great job. Thank you, Martin. Well. So, Hello. <laughs> Thank you. So Bob and I'd like you to have this for you split up between the team, however okay. you guys do that. But thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was amazing having you here. Very nice to meet you. I've met your husband before. I don't think I met oh, you, you last year. Yes. And Bob. You. Hi, Bob. Bob. Poor me. <laughs> welcome. Bob, welcome you. for the Thank first you. time at Nyara. Awesome. And Mike, welcome back. Yeah, welcome. Welcome. good to be Mike. back. Welcome. Yeah. Bernie, nice to meet you. It's welcome. very nice to now, meet you. Last year was your first time at Nyara. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Welcome back. Morning, Bob. Good morning. We have a great day yesterday on in Yara, and you got a beautiful zebra. We have a late breakfast this morning, so we are ready to go. Yep, looking forward to today. You know, as uh, Buta said, we were able to uh, harvest a really beautiful zebra. We spent a lot of time um, over the last few days where we saw the zebra at the other place we hunted, and even put the we rifle up several times to try to get a shot, but we were unable to. But to, yesterday we did a very good stock. Um, we saw them from the hillside. Uh, we set up about a mile away from them and got within a couple hundred yards and we were able to uh, make a good shot and take the zebra. Today we're looking for uh, a wildebeest, you know, blue, black, or gold, uh, maybe a, a, a red hearted beast and uh, you know, whatever else, you know, looks interesting. That's what we see. There's a lot of animals here and it's, uh, you know, been a lot of fun to see after we harvested the zebra yesterday, we spent some time driving around just taking photos of all the beautiful animals they have here. Um, I, I spotted some blue wildebeest just in the pen in front not far from the hill, so we're gonna go in this thicker stuff and try and get close to them because the wind is in our favor and the sun. Good. Blue it look, will the beast? Blue and golden one. Blue gold.
I don't know what had happened to them now. I saw there are more blue wildebeest that side. So I don't think, I think this group had run. Maybe you want to join up with them? Yes. But I think we must try and get that bigger okay. drive around yep. and come from because they are nice and fixed out there to and try and get close on the other side of them. The other side of them yes. yeah. Let's go forward and hopefully we can get the chance of see what is that one. day without this wind. I think we can make it other plan but it's open yeah. and it's gonna be a long shot so mm -hmm. don't wanna take long shots on a day like this. Yeah. And right now it's a little bit far. He turned towards me right when I was getting ready to pull the trigger. Yes. But now it's too far and too open, so yeah. let's leave them. Close a couple of times, to but uh, to, uh, um, why? A wildebeest was the one that we were oh, <laughs> watching Rodney. Yeah, yeah, I know we've only been we there. We actually got it done a couple of times, but we saw lots of blue wildebeest and uh, a gold wildebeest. And we saw a very nice sable alone. That it was. We saw him a couple of times today. That I think Strauss is going to talk to you about to see if you're interested in it.
Well, we had a very busy morning uh, this morning. We did a number of stocks on some blue wildebeest, a very nice, uh, old, mature male, but we weren't able to get close enough. Got the rifle up on the sticks a couple times, but weren't able to take a shot. And uh, now we're going off to, so we saw some red hearted beast, and we're gonna see if we can circle around and approach them. It's been a tough day hunting so far because the wind is blowing really hard and uh, makes the animals very wary. So we're getting ready to go head on out. And I guess I'm gonna get ready and put a round in and then, we're, then we'll go. Safety on, ready. Yes. Let's leave it here in case. I think he's dead. He didn't move. We can go a little bit closer. He's down, Bob. Yeah. Beautiful red heart to beast. Heavy. Congratulations, Bob, on a beautiful red heart beast. Beautiful animal. Beautiful animal, beautiful color. Bob, you, you spotted uh, some red heart beast this afternoon from a distance and get a great stalk on it. And you take a beautiful shot on an exceptional, beautiful. Big red heart beast contest. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. Buddha is really a, a beautiful animal. Uh, as Buddha said, we were able to um, see it and get around to a good wind and actually sun position. And we made a good stalk. He actually laid down while we were doing it. We had to wait a bit, got a little closer, and he, he stood up, and we were able to get a good shot. And uh, he didn't go anywhere, he just dropped. And so we feel very fortunate to be able to harvest this beautiful animal. Thank you again. Thank you, Bob.
Uh, Bob, we're going to walk. The wind is nice and the sun is nice. With us, so we're going to walk in this tree line here. And hopefully it make an open pan there in front. So hopefully we find some animals there that are bedding down or what else. Yeah, look forward to a good stock. Good shooting, Bob. Thank you. And you had asked the best blessbok are difficult. What's up? You would think the blessbok are difficult. Yeah, they are difficult. I, I, I'm very happy to get one, you know, because of the challenge with they're always running and really having to get one that's close enough to the edge. Congratulations, Bob, Thank on a beautiful blessed book, beautiful shooting. It's a beautiful animal. We have got off and in this open pan this afternoon and through a tree line we come closer. We spotted this beautiful blessed book and you're taking a really good, good shot on this blessed book. Congratulations, Thank Bob. Thank you. Yes, we got, uh, it was a good stock got within about 200 yards and we set up the sticks. They uh, didn't realize we were there, which is good. The wind is still blowing hard, so I had to adjust a good amount for the um, side wind, but we were able to get a good shot and he went straight down. So it was a beautiful animal and very happy to be able to uh, take him. Thank you very much. We're watching an aardvark digging into the ground right now. It's amazing how much dirt he's throwing up. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of dirt. Good evening. Thank you. Good day today. Perfect day. Yeah. It wasn't Good this ending. morning cold and windy. Yeah. But a much better afternoon. Yeah. Very successful hunt. Yeah. Heart to beast and uh, blessed buck. Very difficult with the blessed bucks with how fast they're always running. So we did a good <laughs> stock today. For sure. Thank good you. Shooting. Mike, Bob, um, I just wanted to thank you guys for, for being here and I just want to talk a little bit about what it means to us and uh, what it means to, the, to what we do here in South Africa specifically. Um, hunting all, all over, is, you guys will know that there's a lot of negative publicity and for me it's um, mostly people being uninformed you know, of what, what we do and why we do it. So, um, uh, you guys being here makes it possible for us to have a place like this. And uh, <clears throat> I think you guys know this, but all the land in South Africa, the hunting areas that we've got in South Africa is privately owned land. 
And the, it's such a basic, simple principle of if there is no value, then there's going to be something put on there that's got value, like sheep and cattle and so forth. Um, the conservation story of game in South Africa is massive. I, I, I don't know if you guys have read up on it. Um, the, the numbers of game that was in South Africa, let's say in the 1970s compared to now, it's just I don't I don't know the exact numbers, but I mean it is it is so 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 much more, and um, you guys make it possible. So so I really and, and and I don't just say this. I really want to say thank you, because it makes it possible for us. There's this area has got over 500 buffalo, as you have seen. We've seen lots of them, Mike, <laughs> close up. <laughs> lots of different plains game species that's from this area. So. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is basically what I want to say. And, and you must please let me know if you have any questions about what, how it exactly works and where the money goes into. Um, there's uh, a lot of people working here. A lot of families get supported. That's also another thing. And then, of course, the game and, 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 and everything being here in this massive area, it's um, 30,000 acres that's just going without any internal fencing and stuff, and, and that is what I call conservation, and I hope you guys agree. Well, Strauss, I've been really impressed with the, the number of and variety of animals that you have here on the place, and, and, you know, truly wild animals. And so, you know, it's really impressive the things that you guys are doing to conserve, uh, you know, really what, what it comes down to is a habitat yeah. for all of these animals. And so, you know, we really appreciate the, the efforts that you guys have put into this too. Thank you, Bob. No, I appreciate it. And at the end of the day, um, the numbers need to be managed. And uh, it's only through hunting that we can really do that. And that is, that is the only way that we can bring value to a place like this to, to make it exist at the end of the day. So thank you again. And uh, I hope you guys had a great time. Yeah? It's been a really, Fantastic. really fun time. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be back. We really appreciate the support. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks, Strauss. Thanks. Maria? Maria? Yeah. Lizon? Lizon? Nice to meet you. David? David? <laughs> Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> the Lappy girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything went well? Yes, yes. So, called this the bell. And everybody rings it. Everybody rings it. That's like um, dropping in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ring it when you come in? Yeah, you ring it when Do you, you come in, yeah. <laughs> so, that is our type of reception. So, it's also from the basically 1884 fire um, and that's to call the workers okay there was no cell phones no so, so it's like a factory siren yeah you know this is break time lunch time uh, also when there's a fire or something mm. urgent yeah so now it's your turn so what do you do you just go up and you go oh yeah i see the change right yeah The big trade route developed from Cape Town to Kimberley. Okay. And a lot of towns actually started because of that. It's a very interesting history. The ox wagons. So we are here at the moment. This is like a big wool shed. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no bell here yet. Um, that's a trade store, an original house. And the manor house where we're going to have coffee and a little sandwich. Um, these two buildings is the original building, the trade store and the original house that was here. And then the grandfather built the manor house and then his son, Uncle Peter's father, bought, built that house. So Uncle Peter has a life right now and he has built a house here. We built a Titanic yeah. there, the fountain. And that little reception building is over there. Okay. So that's also a replica of an old prospector's house that is actually on the farm. 
So we pick more press over there. So they solved everything. Um, rifles, ammunition. Um, so these items are originally from the shop. Okay. So all the antiques that you see is original um, from the farm. Nothing was brought in. Mm -hmm. So I love that. That's your driving glasses for your Model T Ford. Okay. <laughs> Some prospecting minerals, some nice jewelry for the ladies, headache powders, a knuckle duster, mm -hmm. yeah. a diamond scale over there. Um, because a lot of people are diamonds, not money. So then okay. you would exchange yeah, that for yeah. your food and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this also started because it was right after they found the first diamond in Hope Dog. It's called the Eureka. Okay, then during that time, in the late 1898, 1906 to 1902, we had a big war in um, the Anglo Boer War. Yeah. Um, it's because we wanted to be a republic and we were a British colony, but it was, they got the diamonds in Kimberley and the gold in Johannesburg, so Britain mm -hmm. wasn't keen to let, it go. to let it go. So there was a squadron of English soldiers camped here for months mm -hmm. um, that used this as a base. Mm -hmm. You get your old Ericsson telephone there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so it's a scout This is for your bayonet. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Also then you put the saddle belts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. There, so. Um, Okay, and obviously a postal or post service started because of the trading store, it mm -hmm. was the meeting point. So, yeah, so that's why these telephones are here. This is the Ericsson Commonwealth telephone. It works like that party line, there's no dial. Yeah. So you go one, 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 two short ones, whatever. Okay. And then when you, when you put somebody on hold, this is the neatest spot, you just do that. <laughs> so, this is the United States. Uh, obviously, not all of it. Mexico. Mm -hmm. so here, so you're right, right, right. Texas is different. Turn up the Mexico one. See, it still shows. Yeah. This is Texas, goes all the way up here. And this is all Mexico still, California. Yeah. In, uh, New well, California. This is all part of uh, Mexico, I think. Yeah. Still then. Oh. Uh, I, Hello. This is the big box. Hi. I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Bob, like we are now in Career Club, after your rhino, <laughs> and we have a quick branch, small lunch, and when we have that back to Imyara. We look forward to it. It was a fun morning. It was nice to be able to come and see the lodge and see the museum and you know, talk to all the people here and you know, having a nice, nice little, little lunch here before we go back. Come and have a look here from underneath. You see everywhere is holes. Yeah, is a is a nest, huh? It's a nest, but it's like a family. Do they all it's, connect inside there or? Some of them connected and some are not. Uh -huh. But each hole is like a family stays, so a female lays eggs and uh -huh. the male are feeding them. I just want to congratulate Bob on his beautiful rhino today, on a beautiful shot. Thank Absolutely. you. Cheers. Thank you, Bob. Well done. Cheers, Bob. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Mike. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Puta. Awesome.
morning, Bob. Good morning. It is the last day hunt in Africa for you. And after a great hunt so far, a successful hunt. So today the main thing we're going to go after is a blue wildebeest. Yeah, we so look forward to it. Hopefully we find a good one. It's been a really fun uh, 10 days so far and uh, you know, really looking forward to uh, another beautiful day here and a uh, you know, successful hunt. So let's go. We're gonna go forward and then in front is a road going to the left. Then we're gonna go left on that road because the wind is blowing from the right hand side now. And then we're gonna walk through this thicker stuff and try and get close to that blue wildebeest. Well, we lost the trail of the, the two blue wildebeests that we saw. We did a, a stalk and searched around. There was some blessed buck that were running towards them and that may have alerted them that we were in the area. So we're gonna continue the search. There were two uh, beautiful bulls. Hopefully we'll be able to find them again and, and be able to take one. Um, yes, they do own it for the poaching. But the poachers see there's no wounds on the rhino, then they don't gonna come and kill them for the rhino horn. But in the first few years, that horn is gonna grow like two inches in a year. But the longer it grows back, the shorter it goes every year. But it will grow back. Bob, um, we spotted that too. Beautiful blue wildebeest that we were after this morning, but they evaded us. So hopefully they are bedding down now. So hopefully we can get close and get the chance on them. Yeah, let's go. Reload, reload. Just wait. Oh. 
a beautiful old bull bob. Yes, Look at is. all those marks. So that's the first shot right there. It should have been here. No, but that's perfect. Did take him down. Mm -hmm. Bob, <clears throat> congratulations on this beautiful blue willabies that you harvest. They got on this stalk just before lunch and with a beautiful shot. You got a beautiful blue wildebeest. Congratulations, Thank Bob, you. on your last day Buta. of hunting in Africa. Yes, this is our, our last day, and as Buta said, we actually put a stalk on this animal and another bull uh, earlier this morning, but uh, we couldn't find them, and we were fortunate to see them again uh, just before lunchtime, and uh, we were able to put a good stalk on and take a good shot, and uh, it's just been a wonderful trip for me here in uh, South Africa. I've had a, a great amount of fun and made some new friends, so it's been just an excellent time. Zelle, please come in and, and, and get in the picture too. Thank you very much for all your help on the trip. Mike, here's to a great trip. Great hunt, Bob. Thanks. Enjoy it. Look forward Enjoy to it. next time. Yeah, me too. Bob, so I explained to Mike, he, he's already got an album. Um, this is just a little present from the Winter Zoo. Oh, thank the you. The team to you. There's some photographs of the trip in there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Mike, I wanted to say from our side, you know you've become a friend over the years. And, uh, but also I want to thank you for your, your ongoing support. We really appreciate that. Thank you for bringing Bob and introducing him to us. Absolutely. And hopefully there will be many more. But it's been an a really an, an absolute privilege to hunt with you. I really appreciate everything that you guys did for us. And, and we, I know all of us, and I'm speaking to, from all of us, we had a great time with you guys and we really appreciate it. So, yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank okay. you for having us. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to um, say thank you to all of you. Um, very first years for I'm you and thank the staff you. there. Thank you very much. For all of the great hospitality and all the wonderful food. And Philip, thank you very much for you know, helping out in all the ways you did. And Buta. You know, we had a really great time. We saw a lot of animals. We did some really good stalks, and uh, you know, had had a, had a lot of fun. You know, for me, you know, all the time. Same thing with the jackal hunt, and it was great meeting you too, Strauss. So it's a very memorable event for me, and I'm looking forward to coming back again sometime soon. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Thank you very much. Mark. For me, it's you know, I've, this is my fourth or fifth time attending mm -hmm. Venture Shook, hunting with Venture Shook, and. Strauss, you've been an old old friend now, but what's yeah. best about me at Honey Camp is always the friends you meet. And then I've met Philip once before, but it was nice to meet you and your whole family, your daughters and, and Bernie and uh, with, uh, you and uh, Elaine were great, and uh, meeting Johan. So it's uh, Honey Camp's all about friends and yeah. all the fun we had last night, all the stories and all the laughs. And uh, as Bob said, we look we look we look, we, look, <laughs> we look forward to coming back. And, uh, thank you, Bob, Martin. Uh, yeah, Bob, I also want to thank Martin and Africa Sun Productions, who's just done an absolutely fantastic job documenting this trip as they always do and uh, helping us spot animals and uh, really gives us a, a great memory to go home with. So thank you to everybody. Thanks, 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 Th
Cheers again. Cheers, everyone. Again. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We can do it a few more times. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Yeah.